it is a very fresh but sunny day. So we are back in Leeds. If anyone doesn't know, I'm actually from Leeds. Born and bred, hold tight. This morning, we're gonna have a little brunch with the family. We've got a couple of them over from Bedford. Yeah, we've been there a while. What you got there, big boy? Oh, steady. We've all gone for omelettes. A classic breakfast, no doubt. Four eggs, lots of vegetables, onions, peppers, some saucy sauce. We've got ham and bacon for you guys here. Adding a bit of meat to the uh, equation because we're a couple of meat meatheads, isn't that right? Yeah. I'm going to show everyone how we eat wrong. Yeah. Guys, always make sure that you have a fork in your right hand, knife in the left hand. If anybody tries to correct me, you'll get a knuckle sandwich. Hello! Merry Christmas! There's my children. Say hello! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that was an absolutely delicious breakfast. It was actually even better than we thought it was going to be, which is great. So anyway, now, since I am a little piglet, and I have been a little piglet for the past couple of days, I'm going to check out this uh, cinnamon bun shop, because uh, I am a sucker for a cinnamon bun. Cinnaful! So oh my mm. goodness gracious me. Yum. My germs. My germs. My germs. <laughs> this is oh. This is better than cinnamon. It's crazy. This is better than cinnamon. Oh, the cinnamon buns were just an absolute delight, mate. We have to get one more takeaway. Because <laughs> we're absolutely mixed. Just going through some old photos. Turns out that I was quite the athlete. This was me doing a long jump. Winning the race, I think. Let's just say I'm winning the race. Oh no, apparently not. This little monkey won the race and I came second. I also went through a, cr a cross country phase. Not because I wanted to, I think I just did it and I was quite good. So then school made me do lots of it. But apparently I was quite good. Look at all the trophies. Look at all the trophies. Little cutie. Ah! <laughs> what a dork. What an absolute dork. What happened to you? How did you turn into such a huge failure? <laughs> <laughs> you had so much potential. <laughs> and you let it all go to waste. Look at that. Look at the fit. That is a tight fit. There he is. The setup, <coughs> the mighty setup. Should we zoom in on some confidential? Oh, John. <laughs> when is the man going to retire? That is the main question. That's the big question. And the answer is soon. Never, because he loves his job. Love it. Love it. Top insurance broker in Leeds. If anybody wants a reliable insurance broker, head over to W Dennis. W Dennis Insurance Brokers. And. Ask for Clive Thurston. That's the one. And he will guarantee you the best deal imaginable. Correct? Correct. Correct. <laughs> you know, I always feel like this is not going to support my way. Safe, right? <laughs> so this is literally full of all the goodies that I had when I was a kid. Every time I come back home, I have a little look around because it brings back so many memories. If you didn't have this when you were a kid, you missed out. This was sick. The best console ever. Unfortunately, I did try to get it working and it doesn't work. I wanted to play Super Smash Brothers. Very annoying. Guys, I freaking found a folder of Pokemon cards. 
This is actually a solid selection of Pokemon cards. This is probably worth a lot of money. We've got Venusaur, Blastoise, but no Charizard. So that's annoying. Loads of toys. To be honest, I debated throwing quite a lot of them away, but I thought one day when I have kids or my brother has kids, they can play with those toys as well because they're pretty sick toys. So now it's time to head over to the gym and get a much needed workout in. Speaking of workouts, it is New Year and I am doing a very special Thirst Transformation Challenge once again on my Thirst app. If you want more information, go to thirstapp.com. I'll be giving away a lot of money to the first, second and third place winners. The transformation is gonna take place over a 10 week period starting from the beginning of January. So make sure you get yourself signed up and submit your starting photos and we will be able to rock and get some pretty serious transformations. Time to go to the gym. Hey, tell you what though, at least I get to wear my hoodie. Show everyone my hoodie. What? Pretty sick, right? Warm. Bloody warm, mate. We are heading to the gym. Hold tight, JD Gyms. I believe there is a number of these dotted around the United Kingdom. Am I correct? Yep. Nice. Every time I come back home for Christmas or the summer, I always uh, head over to this gym. Very well equipped. You've got everything you need, nice vibe. So today we're going to do a pretty brutal push session with Ricky T, place to be. I think we're going to start with some uh, incline pressing. Why the hell not? We're going to do three chest exercises, then we'll do three tricep exercises and two bicep exercises. This past week has been, uh, well, as you can imagine, absolutely full of food. Not the best food. Being in a calorie surplus every single day. So uh, we're gonna put those calories to good use. Hold tight, the LDC man, illness battlers, yeah. Hold tight, all the CPT man, LS4, LS7, yeah. The lead thing, standard man of the scrolling. Hold tight, all of the gear, them, yeah. Alright. Here we go, 120, moment of truth. Might be ambitious, might also be unambitious. <laughs> that was good, felt good. Where'd you get that t shirt from? I like looking at that t shirt. From thirstfishel.com, that's where it's from, guys, in case you're wondering. So, we're gonna finish off the chest exercises with a cable fly, one of my favorites. I like to do it seated because it basically keeps my torso fixed in position. I don't have to worry about trying to lean forward so much just to keep everything in place. So we finished up with the chest training. That's three exercises. Honestly, for me, Three exercises, when done properly, when taken to failure, with a significant amount of weight, is enough chest stimulation for me. I don't need to be spending a whole session on chest, like I used to back in the day. Now I'm gonna do arms. So I'm gonna do three tricep exercises because your tricep takes up more of your arm than your bicep does, so we're gonna do an extra tricep exercise. We're gonna do some 21s because it's been a hot minute. Hot minute indeed. <laughs> so we're gonna go freaking do it, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
But guys, if you do struggle on the last few reps, just squeeze your butt cheeks together as hard as possible. Sounds weird, sounds sus, but it actually works. I couldn't help but notice that there are eight cable crossover machines behind me. So that's eight of the close cable crossover machines. And then over there, the wider ones, there's another five. So this gym has 13 cable crossover machines, which is... Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? I mean, not only is my math on point, my math is on point and that is an abundance of cables. So if you come to this gym and you want to go on a mad one with the cables, the cable crossover workout, you will, without a doubt, be able to do it here. So now we're gonna do the final bicep exercise. We're gonna do single arm preacher curls with a dumbbell. Your form is absolutely poo-poo. Ah. Shorten the angle here. Shorten it even more, so bend over more. There we go. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And then squeeze. There we go. Better range of motion. So the session is complete. The sky is looking purple. And it's... Uh, it's about to get dark. It's tricky, it's tricky. It is bringing back memories to when I was a resident. The winters are difficult, mate. The most difficult thing is staying lean because all you want to do is just eat and you never see your skin barely because it's so cold. So you're like, why do I even need to be like 5% body fat lower? Let me just be fatter so I can stay warmer. Let's see the setup. This is not the uh, Christmas dinner. I'm actually only filming today. Every single day we've had some sort of a family gathering. We had one in Hartlepool, we had one on Christmas day, then we had another one on Boxing Day with all different sizes of the family, so it's been pretty full on. Of course, Clive is cooked today and he's delivering his special spag ball. Spag ball. What is the art to an amazing spag ball. I know you've got carrots in there and onion. Carrots yeah. are a must. And uh, tomato puree. Just smell, smell that. It does smell very good. It smells very good. And we've got some delicious desserts over here. But offy pie, cheesecake, Toblerone cheesecake, and chocolate log, and... Lemon, lemon something. Cheers. Cheers. Where's yours? Oh, on. Can't be cheersing to no one. Shout out to my brother who got me a load of non-alcoholic beers. I have been staying true to my philosophy of not drinking at the moment. Of course, every now and then I will have a little drink. Cheers! He's got the Cheers, Mikey. He's got the real man's drink. Real Peroni. Real Peroni. None of this zero percent nonsense, eh? <laughs> Is it good to have me back? Been great, yeah, and see you again soon on the slopes. Oh yeah, going skiing in January. You won't be skiing though, you'll be... Uh, I'll pray skiing. You'll just be at the bar drinking more of the... No, we're on the Stiegels. Stiegel. And I will be getting involved with the Stiegels in Austria because when in Austria... Got to go for it. Got to go for it. Ah, oh, the daddy to go for <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride on a two surf and say, hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride on a two surf and say. That was very good.
Now we are in Round A Park. Round of applause for Round A Park. It's actually stunning, mate. I am yet to see Round A Park and it's summertime beauty. So it's just uh, full of trees with no leaves on. But it's still very pretty. I actually underestimate how large it was. I do remember when I was a kid, there was a giant hill over there and every time it snowed, we used to come here and absolutely belt it down on sleds. Very fun. Small coffee. Just a small coffee. The cup is the size of my head. That's a solid four out of ten, that. Not a whole lot to do. It is raining outside, it's absolutely freezing, so it's gonna be a cozy night in with films, family, and food. As you can tell, I'm just here for the food. So, typical day in the life in Leeds over Christmas time with my family. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again back in Dubai.